good evening everyone and uh, uh, i've been thinking about i've been praying about a lot of things as to what should be my next topic and uh, what is it that the holy spirit wants to speak about he gave a very clear um uh, you know topic that was beauty you know um this is a very uh, very close topic to my heart uh, a very specific reason being this is becoming one of the major reasons why our present generation uh, or i would say the focus of our present generation is getting diverted when i speak of present generation it also includes people of my age so um now before we proceed uh let's just pray and keep this topic and keep whatever he wants to teach us uh in his presence so that it's only the holy spirit who is speaking and it's only him who wants to convey um a message or whatever message he wants to convey to everyone today thank you lord for your beautiful presence father whatever you want us to learn whatever you want us to know help us no and help us understand the greater depths father in jesus mighty name i pray amen so yeah as we go ahead uh, as i said the topic was beauty correct so let's just open uh, our bibles to first peter chapter 3 and uh, we'll go to uh, the third verse and the fourth verse okay again i'll repeat it's first peter chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 I'll read it I'll read it aloud do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which in god's sight is very precious okay so yeah as um as i said the present topic is uh, beauty and uh, as i was meditating on it and as i was thinking deep into it i came to this realization that today we are very concerned about how we look we are very concerned on how we have presented ourselves yes it's not wrong to be presentable it's not wrong or it's not bad to look beautiful but at the same time today's generation or the generations that's coming ahead we are losing our individuality when i say that i mean to say that uh, some way or the other we want to be so accepted by the present society that we are not adoring what or how he has made us today we are so busy in being accepted by people and the society around us that we are not even thinking once of are we being accepted by our heavenly father beauty has played a very major role or is playing a very major role in the present society in manipulating the thought process of youths and even elders today now what is beauty and how can we define it what uh, everyone would say is how we look the present worldly explanation is how you look you can look you should be looking handsome you should be looking neat you should be looking clean shaved and you know the way you want to or if you have beard make sure your beard uh has a very sturdy look on it and what not uh when it comes to girls you need to have a proper figure 
in to be maintaining your figure well you know you should have a very healthy diet you should uh, you know you should be fair that's another you know uh, interpretation of beauty you should be fair correct wow now as i was thinking about it and as i was pondering over it when did god ever speak of all of this when jesus was here he took in anyone and everyone who came seeking for him today our focus has gone to a very different standard altogether a standard which never which never existed which never existed in the past or it should ever exist in the present or shouldn't even be there in the future but we are already in a place where we are looking at it what do we understand by beauty then what is true beauty we all know you know people talk about uh, inner beauty you know you should have that heart of you know you know you should have a beautiful heart you should be very kind you should be very caring you know when we talk of kind and caring it's painful to look at the society today and see that dogs are more lo- more loved than human beings it is painful it is painful and deep it it hurts me when i am actually seeing human beings trust dogs more than their fellow human beings talk of beauty we had christmas i was planning on actually sharing a video on christmas this can get a little controversial if i say that jesus was not born on 25th of december neither on the coldest day of the year i there is no mention in the bible if you dig deep he was not born during december or during the winter season as a matter of fact when you keep all the things into account he was born in a separate season altogether but yes many believers celebrated so question is is it wrong that's one thing even i have asked myself is it wrong then you know i believe that christmas god jesus was not born in december so is it wrong for me to celebrate christmas no many non believers today know jesus through christmas we don't have to believe it but there's no point of actually condemning and questioning it if god has allowed something then there must be a reason correct there are so many people celebrating christmas today who are non believers why aren't we actually reaching out to them to share who actually is jesus who was born on that day let's leave aside he was born on 25th of december he was born on the 3rd of march or whichever day of the year how does it matter he was born so that he could take our sins and die on the cross the beauty of an of an individual comes from a place where he realizes that i need to spread the message of love that jesus puts in me to others if we are not being able to do that we are already failing in what he has entrusted in us beauty is more about spreading his love through whoever he has made us to be beauty is more about understanding that someone is different we judge very fast we are very quick in judging we are very quick in actually you know passing uh you know you know a judgment or i would say yeah 
it's it's painful to see the present generation this way we are very quick in all of that but we and we never stop back and say it's okay just it's okay if that person has made a mistake he made a mistake let me forgive that will be beauty if your heart knows that something is wrong but at the same time your heart realizes that it's not for you to judge for you it is all to do is to love that person even more if that person is at flaw love that person even more the power of love we actually don't know seriously talk of beauty beauty is when you actually see a person spreading the love that jesus wants us to spread the forgiveness that he wants us to spread the tolerance that he wants us to spread he has been very tolerant with us we have been a painful generation of human beings all of us i'm not even just talking about my age group and the people after me i'm talking about even the elders we are a painful generation yet he has been tolerant he has been waiting he is waiting for us to change but somewhere or the other we are intolerant of others we don't have patience at all in short we are not beautiful we judge someone by their color where our hearts are black every one of our heart is absolutely pitch black while we go around saying hey i am dusky i am fair hey you are black who gives you the right to decide that and the lord himself said that i have made you in my own image friends let's come to a place where we give a different definition to beauty we as believers we as christians today spread this gospel of love gospel of beauty to others beauty is nothing but the love that's inside us coming out from within it is not how we look because if you actually look into movies and if you have to look into a lot of things you'll actually realize that the most beautiful ladies sometimes turn out to be the villain right the most handsome man turns out turns out to be the baddest man correct but yes it's true which we have to understand without a second question that beauty is not something just that lies within us beauty is something that we draw from our heavenly father not just draw from him but that same beauty that we spread to others through grace through love through mercy these are things that the world lacks the girl the lady the woman the woman who was into adultery was at jesus feet when jesus asked those questions whoever has in sin stone her first as for the laws moses law whoever is committing adultery that that person should be stoned to death so jesus said whoever has never sinned may he pick up the first stone and stone her to death no one did but you know what when this lady looked up and looked into the eyes of jesus that was the first time she felt beautiful the 
because those eyes that were looking at her were not judging her they were not judging her they were not condemning her it only had love for her and forgiveness and grace and mercy friends family there is a greater depth to life there is a greater depth to beauty there is a greater depth to love that exists let's not be entangled in all that the world is trying to strangle us with because we are not supposed to seek acceptance from the society all we need to do is sit in front of our heavenly father and say lord i love you papa i love you daddy i love you that's all we need to do just say daddy you are beautiful daddy you are beautiful you are the most beautiful help me see that beauty in others too at the same time heavenly father help me be beautiful from within father help me be beautiful i want to bless everyone watching this video in jesus mighty name i pray amen God bless you all. Let's have a new beginning as we enter a new year. Let's have a new life where love everyone. God bless you all.